Hi friends, it's Whitney Shattuck from the First Grade Roundup again, and today I'm talking about my Lesson Plan Templates document on Google Drive. It's completely editable, editable. Um, you can customize it however you want, and the awesome thing is it's all online, so you can access it from home, from school, wherever you have a computer, from your phone if you have the Google Drive app. Um, and really you can go paperless. This year I did my all of my lesson plans and didn't even print out any of my lesson plans um, to, um, to lay out on my desk. I just removed that aspect of it completely which I loved. I was able to just check my lesson plans from my phone or my computer and I was good to go. So I just wanted to walk you through this document um, just because it is on Google Drive and I wanted you to know all of the different things that you can do with it, how you can use the document and give you a close look at um, the versions that I have. There are four versions of the document. There's um, grayscale and color. I'm going to go over the color one first. Okay, so um, just know that what you see in color, there's also a grayscale version too that's printer friendly in case you are still wanting to print something. Okay, um, also I would also like to say that if you are more comfortable working in Microsoft Word, you can immediately download this document into Microsoft Word and um, type there but I am going to caution you that um, you're not going to be able to keep the same fonts that I already have loaded for you um, unless they happen to be loaded on your computer. Um, and sometimes there is some discrimination with table sizing and all of that good stuff. Uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem but um, depending on your computer but, um, but the fonts will change for sure. Um, however, if you can work Microsoft Word, then you can work um, Google Docs. It's very simple, um, very similar to Microsoft Word, and um, it's all online. There are so many options, um, so, so many cool features available with Google Docs. So I've set up this document. Let me go back for just a second. Whenever you get your file, um, you will have four different files. You will click on the files, then you will um, go back, um, it will open it up to um, a document where you're going to have to um, choose to make a copy. Um, once you do that, then you'll have this open. It'll actually say copy of weekly lesson plans up here in the title. Okay, and then you'll just go ahead and change that. If I were you, I would go ahead and change one to weekly lesson plans template. Okay. Um, and I would go in here and I would change, change the teacher named Mrs. Shattuck's lesson plans week of 8, 15 to uh, 16. Okay. Now I've gone ahead, I have the um, subjects at the top, the days across here because that's how I like to read left to right. Um, if you have this, I've gone ahead and put in my schedule, um, what my um, typical schedule looks like. Um, if your schedule is different, you can obviously change this. Notice that in these lesson plans, I didn't put um, lunch and recess and planning time in my actual plans because um, it just gives me more room and allows me to keep it on one page instead of having to scroll back and forth between two pages. Okay. What I did do is down here I put my lunch time, my recess time, and my activity or my planning time down there. And then of course you could always do um, your activity schedule down here if you needed to. Like Monday is PE, Tuesday computer, um, whatever you needed to do on that. Okay. Um, or you could also type that in the notes however you wanted to do that, if you felt like you needed to do that. Uh, many of you may be like me in that you kind of have that activity schedule memorized by um, week two, so you really don't need it um, on hand in your lesson plans. Okay. All right, so I've already put in my times. You're going to want to edit that um, to fit your schedule. You just highlight and edit um, it to say whatever you want to say. Change your times however you want to do that. OK, 
okay? I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then um, a notes section down at the bottom. This is one of the four templates. This is the grayscale um, basic, and I'm actually just going to go to the color one cause, just because I think it's prettier, okay? Um, so once you have got this all set up like you want it, then um, you, and one thing I will go over here on the highlighting, on the color version is highlighting. If you want to change the color, the background color, then you can just highlight that cell. That cell. If you don't like it red, then you can click on more, click on the paint bucket, and just change it to whichever color you want to, okay? I just went rainbow order because, I don't know, it just makes my heart happy. Um, so, but if you, like, I have some friends that just think math is red. For whatever reason, math is always red. So, if you have feelings like that, then you can certainly change your colors to match your mood or whatever. So, on the basic one, you just have the lesson, the materials, and your standard. Okay, so if this is my word work, we use benchmark phonics. So I would be typing in here unit one, and it's um, L blends, I believe, off the top of my head. Okay, if you wanted to type in more than what you're doing, then that's fine. You know, whatever it is that you need. Then your need, your what your materials are, my picture, my picture cards. Um, should be all that I really need on that and then your standard and I'm going to put RF.1.1 okay um, I would go ahead and do this in your template um, because I think it will help you as you are um, as you go forth because uh, well, we'll talk about that here in just a second so once you get all of your lessons in there then you can go down here um, and this one does not have your spelling ones words in here. It should, I'll just add in there. And then you'll go down here to your spelling words and you'll type in, um, your, um, spelling words, whatever they are. And then if you also have sight words that you're doing for that week, um, then you can type those in um, right there. Then you don't have to have them on every day. Okay? This is just your basic setup. I don't want to insult anybody's intelligence that knows how to use the lesson plans. Just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an example. Okay? On that. Um, the one cool feature about this document. Um, let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay? Is that you can um, make copies. So once I get my template down and I put my basic, like probably your standards are going to be very similar for phonics each week um, and possibly some other areas as well. Okay, um, so once you kind of get that set like you want it, then I can go to File, Make a Copy, and then all I need to do is weekly lesson plans, and then I want to type in, this is for 8-15-16, okay? And then I want to click OK. And now, I have this new document, okay? So each week, whenever I sit down to plan, first thing that I'm going to want to do is either go off of my template or maybe I want to go off of last week's because I'm doing similar stuff from last week but before I do anything I want to go to file make a copy okay if you don't do that then you're basically um, getting rid of your old lesson plans and writing over those okay so if you want which if that's how you want to do it that's fine you just need to know that once you start typing over this um, unless you go through and undo, 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 undo all of your stuff, you're not going to get it back. So just to be on the safe side, go and make a copy. You can always go back and delete it. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to go through is this is the basic one. Then the custom um, plan is a little bit different. It also comes in color and grayscale, but it's a little more um, detailed for each area. These are the things that I try to think about with each subject area, so I just wanted to um, put that out there on lesson plans also. Your focus sound, so you know immediately whenever you look at it, this is the um, sound that you're working on, L blends. 
This is your activity, this is your standard. Not much different for phonics, okay? For reading, you've got your focus lesson. What are you going to start off with for reader's workshop? What are the students going to do for independent practice? And then what your standard is. Um, of course, for guided reading, that's going to be not something that's probably going to fit in this teeny tiny box. However, um, if you check out my TPT store, the first grade roundup, um, I have a guided, guided reading packet um, that has some guided reading lesson plans on it as well. And I will be working towards getting those up on Google Drive to add to that document as an addition um, to that document. Um, writing is set up the same way. It's set up for writer's workshop, your mini lesson, the independent practice, which are standard. Okay, um, I would probably add in here which small group I'm going to be meeting with because I just do one each day. You could also do which small group for reading, um, which two or three you're meeting with that day. For math, I've set this up for CGI classroom. What's your goal? What's your standard for mathematical practices or what's your overall goal for students? What's the math word problem that you're working on? What's the skill that you're working on, which may or may not correlate with your problem solving? And then what standards are, your, are you hitting? Here's your intervention block and here's your science and social studies time, which is your basic there. So I really like this one. This is the one that I um, have typically used in the past because it just keeps me a little more focused on um, my planning. Okay, um, one really cool feature about Google Docs is that you can share the document. Before we talk about this, I just want to say that with copyright laws, whenever you have purchased this file on Teacher Pay Teacher, you have purchased a license for one person to use this document. So if you share it, some, you can share it with somebody for them to view, but you cannot share for them to edit the document. So if I go over here and I want my principal to view my document, I can click can view instead of can edit. That way they can't change my document and they don't have access to it. And I can type in the email of my principal or um, my secretary, whoever the keeper is of the lesson plans and share it with them. Okay. However, um, if the cool thing about the sharing is if you have purchased additional license, you get to do that for 50% off in my TPT store. And then at that point, you can share your lesson plans. So if you have somebody that plans math, somebody that plans reading, writing, whatever, then you can all be typing in on the same document at the same time or at your own time, each at home at night, and say, hey, let's make sure we get it done by Wednesday night so that everybody has it by Thursday ready. Then if I'm doing math, I can get mine typed in whenever I want to as long as it's done. Um, by Wednesday night by our team deadline. The other option that I can do is um, the other thing that that my team has done in the past is everybody brings their laptop to planning. Um, everybody is somebody is in charge of typing lesson plans and so while we're talking about plans somebody's here typing or more than one person is typing. Hey I'll take care of the phonics, hey I'll take care of the math, I'll type in science and social studies for this week and it all just gets done during our planning time. So that's really cool with Google Drive because you can't do that with Microsoft Word. Only one person can be typing in at the same time. So it's a really cool feature. Just make sure that you have purchased the additional license for the um, with the huge discount um, on TPT to be able to do that. Um, so super excited about this document. Um, if you have any um, suggestions for it, questions about this document, how it's used, something I haven't covered that you want to know, just shoot me an email, the first grade roundup at gmail.com. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Um, and in the meantime, go to my TPT store, the first grade roundup, and check out this document and all of my other Google Drive. I have a custom category called Google Drive um, that will show you all of the documents that I have for you to use on Google Drive. Thanks and happy shopping.